What's the cycle to success? Okay. We all have this thing, we all want to be successful. Okay? We all want to be happy. There is there are various definitions of success and happiness. Right? I'm going to define success as growth. Okay? Growth in any any sphere of life, growth in any phase of life. Whether it's life, whether it's work, whether it's anything that we are talking about, I'm going to define that as growth. So growth what is the main thing that growth asks for? In order to grow, we need to change. That's the first step. Growth will ask for change. Okay. Is it easy to change? You know, some of you are nodding your head. I don't know whether it's for yes or no, but it's not easy to change. right? Why is it not easy to change? Because change demands that we get out of our comfort zones. Change will always ask, get out of your comfort zone. If you are able to get out of your comfort zone, you can change. But is it easy to get out of our comfort zones? Not always. Not always. Because comfort zone will demand status quo. Comfort zone will tell you, be where you are. Why do you want to go? Why do you want to bring about a change? Why do you want to challenge yourself? Why do you want to challenge your life per se? Forget it. Just stay where you are. Be happy. Right? Be satisfied with what you are. But are we satisfied with people, with our lives? No. We always want more. We always want the growth to come back. So status quo makes us lazy. It's all interlinked. Change, growth will demand change. Change will mean coming out of your comfort zone. Comfort zone will say maintain the status quo. Status quo will make us lazy. If we are in that status quo, in that same process, same routine of what we are following every day, we are going to get lazy at some point of time. We will stop contributing to what we are doing as well. Laziness doesn't help us to change. Simple. Right? Has a lazy person ever changed himself? Or ever changed the world? You need to be doing something, right? Because change demands action. You need to change something, you need to act on it. Right? And we can explain this via an example as well, but change will demand us to act. And action, the first step of acting is what? It's identification of the problem. Identification of what is wrong with us. Why do we want to change? What is, what is the reason why you want to bring about a change in yourself? What is wrong? Right? Like one of you said, I, I'm, I'm struggling with changing my habits. Why do you want to change your habits? Aren't you happy with what you are? Right? Because you've moved into a zone where now you become lazy and when you become lazy you realize you're not bringing about that change that is needed in your life. You're not being fair to the world around you. You're not being fair to your job. You're not being fair to your relationships. You're not being fair to your own life per se. And that's why you want change. For that you need to act. For acting you need to first identify the problem. So identify the problem. One of the methods of Kaiser. Identify the problem. And once you identify the problem, find the solution. What is the solution? So a lot of people, when I coach people in my, in, as, uh, in, in my counseling sessions, a lot of people come forward and say, I hate my job. So I ask them the same thing. I said, do you think I'm a career coach? I'm not. I'm not, a, I'm not somebody who's going to help you find a job. I'm not a career counselor, nor am I a recruiter. Right? If you hate your job, you are the only person who is going to change it. You have already identified the problem. Now change, make the change. The challenge is, changing is not that easy. Right? Because there are lots and lots of other factors that influence that, that changes. So, problem demands a solution. Right? Solution needs time to show change. It's not going to happen overnight. We took an example of going to the gym and losing weight. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not that you go to the gym and tomorrow you're going to lose 5 kgs. Doesn't happen. It takes time. It takes... All of us have learned hobbies, right? Let's say, for example, cycling. We've all learned cycling or swimming. Were we able to cycle on the first instance? Didn't we all fell down while cycling? Most of us did. Right? Didn't we ever encounter a, a thing where we tried to go swimming and we had a bout of the fact that, oh, we are about to drown. We've all had water in our mouth, in our nostrils, in our eyes, in our ears, and everywhere, and we've experienced. 
did we give up i mean some of us may have but we generally do not give up because there is a method there is a way to learn it there is a way we learn things and that is how it needs to be followed so change happens in a slow fashion and solution needs that time to change and change will eventually bring growth so we come back to the first point that growth demands change and we've just covered a full cycle of what we are supposed to do when we when we talk about bringing about growth so what we are aiming for is growth in our lives 